Member statements, the member from Kenori Rain River. Thank you, Speaker. Ontarians were excited to hear about this government's prioritization of transportation infrastructure. Northerners in particular listened with keen interest as small northern communities grapple with hundreds of millions of dollars of road, bridge, and other infrastructure renewal, gridlock, which in the north means closed or impassable highways without alternate routes, and the lack of public transportation both within and between our communities. Simply put, getting around in the north is time-consuming, difficult, and expensive, which is why Northerners were looking forward to the badly needed transportation infrastructure promised by this government. But it seems that the north has been left out of the Premier's plans. Instead, we've seen a set of double standards, delayed funds, inaction, and mismanagement when it comes to the very basic infrastructure in the north. The reality in the north is that this government promised to fund programs such as connecting links and the small communities funds, but has failed to deliver deliver. Intercommunity transportation is government-funded and tax-exempt in the South, but in the case of the Northlander, is taxed and expected to be self-sustaining in the Northeast and non-existent in the Northwest. Traveling our roads in winter is a crapshoot because of shoddy highway maintenance, and the government knows this because Ontarians, MPPs and the Auditor General have been saying so for years, and yet this government has still not addressed the pr problem. Speaker, in this government's last budget, we saw a plan to defer investment in transportation infrastructure in the north. Will we see a firm commitment to the north this year? Thank you.